Hello, students of class 10, advanced maths, exercise 8.1, plane geometry. Question number 5. In triangle ABC, AB equal to AC, so that the tangents to the circumcircle of the triangle ABC at A is parallel to BC. Here, ABC is a circle, so that tangent to the circumcircle of the triangle. That means circumcircle. Circle. This A B C. Here A B equal to A C. This is question number five. Now, now. Now, uh, tangent to the circumcircle of the triangle ABC at A. This tangent. PQ. We have to prove that PQ is parallel to BC. Is parallel to BC. Given. Given. It is given that... Um, uh, in triangle ABC, AB equal to AC and PQ is the tangent at point A. PQ is the tangent at point A. To prove that PQ parallel BC. PQ parallel BC. Proof. Proof. C. Um, angle PAB is equal to angle ACB since AB is the chord and PQ is the tangent at A from theorem 8.1.1. Remember student in examination hall you have to write the whole theorem. So this is equation 1. Again since AB AB equal to AC therefore Angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. This is angle opposite to equal sides are equal. This is equation 2. Now, from 1 and 2, we conclude that PAB is equal to ABC. Angle PAB equal to angle ABC. So, PAB is equal to angle ABC. This is alternate angle. Alternate angle. Therefore, PQ parallel BC. ABC is a cyclic quadrilateral and tangent at A to the circle circumscribing the quadrilateral is parallel to BD. Prove that CA is the bisector of angle DCB. See, ABC is a cyclic quadrilateral.
A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Tangent at A to the circle, here tangent at A, this uh, tangent at A to the circle circum circumscribing the quadrilateral is parallel to B, D. It is given that this is parallel to this, this is given. Prove that CA is the bisector of <coughs> given. This is question number six. Question number six. <coughs> given that is A, B, C, D is a cyclic is a cyclic quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral <clears throat> and pq pq is, is the tangent at point a tangent at a point a and PQ is parallel to DB. To prove that CA bisects DCB. CA bisects DCB means angle DCA is equal to angle B, angle BC equal to angle B, C, A. We have to prove. Now see the proof. How I am going to do the proof. Show the proof. Here. Proof. Uh, See this angle, this angle, this angle is equal to this angle. This is alternate segment. Now again, this angle is equal to this angle because these two lines are parallel, alternate angles. Again, this angle is equal to this angle, same segment. Similarly, this angle is equal to this angle, same segment. Therefore, these two are equal. So, how I am going to write it, see, angle BAQ, angle BAQ, angle BAQ is equal to angle ADB. This is from theorem 8.1.1, alternate segment, we call this alternate segment. This is equation 1. Now again, because since uh, AB is the chord and PQ is the tangent at A. PQ is the tangent at A. Okay, now since DB is parallel to PQ, DB is parallel to PQ, therefore angle BAQ is equal to angle DBA equation 2 alternate angles. Now, again, uh, angle, angle A, D, B is equal to angle A, C, B, equation 3, angle in the same 
segment. Again, ADB, AC, the same segment. Again, angle DBA is equal to DBA. Angle DBA is equal to angle uh, DBA is equal to angle DCA DBA DCA for angle in the same segment. So from one to and uh, two one two comma three and four we get C this two equal therefore this two are equal again therefore since these two are equal from here these two are equal these two are equal therefore these two are equal therefore angle A C B is equal to angle D C A. 